Every tech giant from Microsoft to IBM is exploring the potential of blockchain in applications that need high transaction security like voting, real estate processing, and medical data sharing. Hive and Bit Farms are capable of powering these applications once they become scalable. In the meantime, they also mine Bitcoin and have an inventory of it. That inventory serves the purpose of a BTC ETF. Hive is already investing in blockchain startups. It is also exploring the use of its computing capacity in applications like artificial intelligence and rendering. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However with my experience investing for years the content from this video has a solid research foundation. I will have my own patron for my inside trading and stock in buying and selling. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. Why buy an EV stock? A lot of investors want to find the next big thing, and that could be by buying an EV stock. However, here at The Motley Fool, we support long-term investment. Don't buy something for 10 minutes if you won't consider it for 10 years, as Warren Buffett says. Luckily, buying the right EV stock can set you up with at least a decade of returns. So, today, we're going to dive into Martin Ray International, a solid EV stock for long-term buyers on the TSX today. While not the most obvious EV stock to buy, Martin Ray provides car parts to automotive companies. In the next decade, the biggest brands of car manufacturers have committed to either a full fleet of EVs, or a mixture of EV and hybrid cars. That is a huge opportunity for a company like Martin Ray. Moving on strong, the pandemic was hard on car parts manufacturers, and that included Martin Ray. Luckily, the company has production back up and running and the last quarterly report proves it. The EV stock company reported net income of $23.9 million compared to a loss of $146.9 million the same quarter last year. It now remains positive for the long-term future, as strong demand increases from low inventory for vehicles in general. In response to this, Martin Ray management stated it expects strong future sales growth, creating strong launch programs to address and remove bottlenecks in supply. Once the pandemic is well and truly over, there doesn't seem to be anything in this company's way. This will all be helped by the $4 million co-investment into electric vehicle parts with Nano Explore, announced earlier this year. Not only could the focus shifting towards EV parts like like batteries and metal parts provide a sustainable, cheaper move forward, it could also provide further opportunities for the company. It's not just EVs that need batteries and metal parts, of course. On top of that, Martin Ray is now producing the first graphene-enhanced brake lines in the world. So, with this diverse portfolio, it's now ahead of the game in the world of EV stocks. Incredibly cheap. In fact, Martin Ray is an EV stock that is downright valuable. The company currently trades at an astounding 6.35 P.E. ratio and an EV EBITDA of just 4.79. Shares trade at just $12.20 up 24% in the last year. Those shares have been relatively stable in the last month, likely because the quarterly report wasn't exactly exciting, but that makes it an excellent time to buy up this stock. Meanwhile, you'll get the dividend yield of 1.61% at the very least. But analysts predict an average potential upside of 51% in the next year. As of writing, there are a lot of EV stocks to consider, but this EV stock is a top choice for investors looking for something cheap. Motley Fool investors get a strong company with a diverse Diverse portfolio moving into the future. Really, with shares so low, everyone can afford to take even a small stake and wait to see how it does. Give us a like if you're like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Stay tuned for our upcoming patron account for an inside look on what will be the best buy and sell stocks every week.